Alright guys, uh, welcome to part 16 of Amnesia to Dark Descent, and the reason we're starting from the main menu is because um, last episode we uh, ended the episode in a room with a gatherer. So uh, let's continue and hopefully we don't get fucked up. I'm really freaked out about this because uh, I don't think the gatherer is going to leave the room, but I'm going to have to actually run away or try and do something. So I think he's still in here. I'm actually going to wait one minute, one more minute, and if he doesn't leave after that, and that's it. That's it. So, uh, he's behind me somewhere. Making noises. Creepy noises. It's still freaking me out. So, uh, you know, he's been here for about four minutes. Fucking doing nothing but standing around. Fucking whacking off in the corner. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Probably fucking mesmerized looking at the wall. Fucking... I don't know, eating bread. What the fuck the gatherer is doing? Kitchens. Jesus Christ. Alright, that's it. We're gonna have to run. Let's go. Run! 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 Run away! Run away in here! Okay. Oh my Jesus, Lord Christ in heaven. <laughs> Heavenly God. Even though I'm not Christian, I'm, I'm, I'm an atheist. I don't even know what I am. I don't have a religion. Fuck you. <gasps> I think the, the rock has stopped him from coming in. Yes, he's leaving. Yes. Oh God, yes. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, Jesus. That was intense. I can't believe we made it. Oh, we made it. Okay, uh, thank you so much for watching this series, guys. It's it's good knowing that I'm doing these videos for a purpose. To entertain uh, my subscribers and all you bastards watching this, this video, probably laughing your ass off while I'm freaking the fuck out. Um, I don't know what we can do here. Can we just wait for the music to stop and run away? Or what? just really don't feel good about this. I think he's still out there. It's pretty fucked up. I'm just going to have a little stroll through this tunnel, even though we've already been in here, and uh, hopefully when we get back, he's gone. So, oh, it's a nice tunnel. Got some uh, walls on the tunnel, because you know it's a tunnel. Yep, just waiting for the gatherer to leave so he can leave. And uh, what do we have up here? This is where we came in, doing a little tour of the tunnel. There's the room we came in from. Now we make our way back, hopefully the gatherer's gone. The music has stopped. Okay. Holy shit. Alright, I'm not going up there again, unless I really have to. Um, that was really fucked up. That was really fucked up. Let's go up here. Okay. Fucking Jesus, that was horrible. Okay. How's my oil situation going? I'm going okay on oil. Ooh! Shut up! What is that? Okay. Oh, look at the light! There's light outside. Can't we go outside? I don't want to be in here. Oh, well. I'm not going to complain. It's too fucking dark. Okay, here we go. was that? Shut the fuck up. Whatever that noise is. Ugh. Let's go up here. I haven't been up here before either. So I don't know. It's gonna be up here. Close that. Okay, we got a note. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten. 
as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. Hoop. As the, the sun sets on Brennenburg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Alright, um, there seems to be a lot of moldy bread around, you know. I, can I eat that? Does my character need to eat food? Because, you know, I can eat some of that. Because, you know, moldy bread's the way to go. Um, weren't there door- OH! SHUT UP! SHUT UP! I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sit in the corner. Oh, shit. So, uh, guys, you know, while while we're just waiting for the music to stop, I just thought I'd, you know, talk to you guys about a few things, you know, um... Ah, oh, yes, how's everyone going <laughs> who's watching this video? Are you all having a nice day today? Is everything okay? I think after this video I'm going to take a break, make myself some nachos or something like that. I don't know, macaroni and cheese, something to eat. Haven't eaten anything, it's getting late, I need to have some dinner. Yes, um... Yes, yes, dinner. Oh god, okay. Um, oh no, also, I probably, while we're waiting for this horrible music to stop and the thing to go away, um, do you guys have any suggestions for future games after I've finished Amnesia and Penumbra? Let me know. Okay, the music stopped. Ooh. Okay. So where the fuck was that gatherer? He must have been in one of these rooms. Oh shit. Oh! What the fuck? Ah, oh, what the hell is this? Okay. There's a dead corpse. I don't know why, but that's disgusting. Um Now the game's starting to get really fucked up, so as I said uh, in a previous episode. Okay, um, but as I was saying, the game's starting to get sort of fucked up, so, uh, you know, I can handle, I don't know, I might not even be able to handle it, but uh, if you're like, I don't know, this game's starting to actually freak the fuck out of you, you might want to stop watching this series, because I don't want to be responsible for hurting people's brains and making them upset and... No, don't Ooh. Okay. La 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 la. Why am I doing that? I don't know. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own. Oh, fuck. What is this? Two cistern entrance. Oh, we got a something here. Tinder box. Metal padlock. Okay. Uh. Sooner we'll be ready. Okay. Be enough time. All right. Everything is gonna be okay, and my fucking lamp just ran out. Everything is gonna be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Be happy. Yes. Okay. I think I remember this part from when I was playing. This is probably the last bit that I played up to. Uh. When, on my cousin's profile, and there's a gatherer up here, so I'm gonna run into this room and close the door. That's all I remember that there was a gatherer somewhere around here. Yes, there fucking is. Okay.
Um, I'm gonna read this note. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Okay, so uh, the shadow must be like that fucked up thing we hear all the time. Okay. Um, I'm going to be very careful from now on. Okay. Let's go up here. Oh, Jesus. Let's go down here. Go in here. Whatever's in here. Close that. Close that. Close that. I'm going to actually pile up some boxes and shit. I'm, I really need to be careful now. I don't know. I'm just freaking out, guys. Um, so glad I have support on this series. Okay, close. What the fuck? Close. Uh, oh, what's that? Glass jar. Tinderbox, tinderbox. And, uh, yeah. Guys, I think that's going to be it for part... I don't even know what part this is, but yeah, that's going to be it for this part. And uh, I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching and supporting me. And fuck, it's starting to get really uh, fucked up. Alright, guys, I'll see you later.